In 2016, Jacotti released an application for self-testing of air conduction hearing thresholds. The application is called Jacotti Hearing Center and runs on iOS devices. It's a full-functional professional clinical audiometer that allows to test thresholds comprised between 10 and 85 dBHL. It's a medical device, both in the US and the EU. The application uses the Drotone procedure, which is similar to Huxon Westlake. It's calibrated for use with Apple EarPods and has been compared with PTA in clinical setting in the past. There's a noise monitoring component that rejects measurements if there is too much noise. The data is stored on our EarCard platform. This allows to have access to a significant amount of data points for an uncontrolled but noise monitored test environment. We show here the number of test readers audiometry pairs obtained in function of frequency tested and of grade of hearing impairment. The same data can be shown as a function of the interval between test and retest. We can see that the data is concentrated for short term intervals. We divided our data set into a short term data set for an interval of maximum 20 days and a long term data set for an interval between 20 and 90 days. We computed the test retest errors for these data sets and show them in function of frequency and grade of hearing impairment. So far, the data supports the usefulness of uncontrolled noise monitor test environment. Our application may be a viable alternative to standard air conduction audiometry for most patients. As the next steps, we want to cross-reference this data with other data we have available, such as questionnaires, user-dependent usage patterns, and the influence of the noise environment. Thank you.